Hello knife fans, my name is Mike Metatol. I'm with Metatol Handmade Knives out of Sherman, Texas. If you look down below this screen, you'll see our website, texasmadeknives.com. If you want to stop by there and take a look, you can get a good idea of what we're currently working on. Um, today what we're going to do is heat treat uh, some Alabama Damascus. Um, I've bought quite a bit of this metal from these guys. It's a good high quality metal. I have not been disappointed yet. Um, I've got uh, several knives here. I think I'm probably going to do two today, um, but I may just do the video on one. If I have, if it looks like I'm moving pretty quickly, I'll, I'll do a couple of them. Um, it's pretty straightforward, and I'll go over it with you as we go. Um, I've got the oven heating up back there, so we'll also do a, um, a cycle of tempering on this, this metal. Um, hope this is something you'll enjoy. If you do, please uh, like us below. Um, and if not, drop me a line and let me know what I can do to uh, put out a video that you would be interested in. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get the forge fired up. Once it gets warmed up, I'll start the video back up. See you in a bit. Okay, we're going to get this forge fired up here. I usually use a propane torch to get things started. It keeps my fingers out of the way and it's pretty effective to get things started quickly, which is important when you've got gas running. So with that, I'll turn on the gas.
now we're going to put our Damascus in there, heat that up to non-magnetic, which is kind of a bright orange-red color. Then we're going to French and quench it in the oil. knife up to temperature now. We're just going to place it in the oil, straight in, straight out. In, in, out. In, in, out. in. It's just straight up and down and you'll, you'll have less chance of getting a warpage if you'll just take your time. Quench it slow, quench it as fast as you can, but moving it slowly in and out. Okay. Once I got the fire off and uh, got the oil off of the blades, I have clamped both of these knives that we just uh, quenched. I clamped into a straight piece of mild steel. And that is to keep them from warping during the tempering process. All you do is just lay, a, lay your knife on the flat piece of steel, clamp it down in a couple places, and that should keep it from warping. When I looked down this blade a, little, a few minutes ago, I saw that it had a kind of a, a, a curve or a warp to the left. So I laid that side down that was warped and clamped it out straight. So when this heat uh, goes through the tempering process in our oven, it should take that warp out of there. So with that, let's go to the oven. Okay, this is my tempering oven. This is uh, just a standard Hamilton Beach oven. You can get it at Walmart for 50, 60 bucks. Um, it does uh, heat up to a temperature of 500 degrees and it does have a two hour timer on it. So that makes it kind of handy if you want to do a timed uh, tempering and then as soon as that time runs out it'll turn the unit off and then it'll just it'll be allowed to cool to room temperature uh, at which point you can pull your knife if you're going to do a second uh, tempering you can run it again or if you're done then you can go ahead and with the rest of your processes of making your knife um, the knife that we 
we uh, heat treated today is a piece of Alabama Damascus and it did have a little bit of a warp in it. So I took a straight piece of mild steel and I seat clamped that knife to it to pull that that curve down so that temp that warpage is, is pushing down against the blade. Generally speaking when you put this in your for your uh, tempering it'll take that warp out if you have it clamped down like this on a flat piece of metal. So with that I'm going to put it in the oven. We're going to set it for one hour. It's preheated to 350 degrees and we'll set that for one hour and once that runs um, like I said before it'll, it'll shut off and then once it returns to room temperature we'll go to the next step. Um, in the next week or so I'll be doing a video on etching the Damascus blade. I use ferric chloride. I'll go through that process with you and also this same knife I will do a video on installing the, the handles on it. So I haven't decided yet what kind of handle I want to put on this particular knife but uh, I'll come up with something kind of cool. Uh, with that if you like this video uh, please like us below. Uh, take a look at our website and uh, I will be Seeing you soon. Keep on grinding. Thanks for watching.